You only gotta get back. Don't worry, face it, huh? Stop doing that. Alright. Alright, let's get this over with. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. <clears throat> How's your day? Fine. So how could you leave Danny with Olivia? And you're here chatting. You see this new habit, this new habit of yours is not good. It isn't that all. How? Can I how? I gave Daniel series. I breastfed him. What else can a mother do? Carry the baby. Carry the baby. Pet the baby to sleep. Send that kid to sleep. Did you see what happened down there? Huh? Olivia was struggling. She was trying so hard to make that boy at least to stop crying. And you're here. How could you leave our child? How could you leave that small baby for, for a minor? How? When you're here, chatting. How could you leave our child? Our, our, our baby, our kid. For a minor, why? How? Why? Can I so because I have kids, I cannot have time for myself. I can't chat with friends. I can't have fun with my friends because I have kids. Am I the only mother in this world? That's not what I'm saying. You can plant yourself. Plant yourself. Take care of your kids. Put him to sleep. And then you can go ahead and do whatever you want to do. That is what real mothers will do. Okay, okay. I have heard you. There's no need for this, for you nagging all the time. I've heard you. Stop nagging. I've heard you. I have, okay? There's no need to bring down the roof. So where is Daniel now? I already put him to sleep. Thank you. Has it been long you came back? A few minutes ago. Oh. So why didn't I hear the gates open? How would you? Why? Why? Why would you? No, you, you wouldn't. When you're saying cross with your phone, how would you? Babe, like I said, you just came in. You need to freshen up and rest. Thank you. You just came back. Please freshen up. Let me fix us. Dinner. Really? Mm -hmm. No, no, I don't understand. Like, you're going to fix dinner like now? Yes. Oh, God. <sighs> Please. I love you. I love you too. Mm. <laughs> I wasn't expecting noodles after I had this job. I'm sorry, I was carried away with chatting, right? You were chatting. I said I am sorry. It won't happen again. If I may ask, who do you always chat with? Friends. And who are the friends? Really? Yeah. Can I, is this some kind of interrogation or interview? I am chatting with friends, not one, not two. It's okay. Babe. I already said it's okay.
This is my phone. And you're chatting with your ex. Honey, are you sleeping with me? <sighs> yes, I, I, I am chatting with my ex alongside other of my friends. Kenne, you and I know that snooping around other people's cell phone is bad. My wife's phone, not other people. This is invasion of privacy. Invasion of privacy. What then happens to two becoming one after marriage? I just don't like you chatting with your ex. That's it. Fine. You went through the chats, right? Did you find anything wrong? Did you find anything bad inside? Nothing. And that is because I trust you. So I don't need to dig. Kenneth, I have told you. I have told you that we are just friends. Just friends. There's, there's nothing to be worried about. And I have told you several times that I don't like that friendship. Your ex should be in your past. As in your past. Okay? Um, especially when it's an ex that you have once slept with. Very serious, you know. He should respect your privacy. Exactly what I told him. Hmm? I see no reason why he feels insecure. Because I will never ever cheat on him. I am not that type of woman that cheats. I didn't cheat you in my single days, let alone now that I am married to him. Honestly, Kenneth Chuku needs to trust you. Because marriage is all about trust. Bam, you're right. You've said it all. Here you go. Babes. Yeah. Do not let him tell you what to talk to or what to do. Because that is how marriage slavery starts. Huh. Listen. If he continues to snoop around, just put a lock on your phone. A lock? You are right, you know. That's exactly what I should do. Of course. <sighs> Thank you, NK. You see, this is the one reason I like sharing my problems with you. You always come up with a good solution to every problem, especially mine. Thank you, okay, yeah. thank you, my friend. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, darling. <laughs> Doing? Your phone. It's locked. Yes. It's mine, not yours. Do you have a problem with so that? Can I have the password? I am not telling you. But Jenny, we're married. Both of us are married. And we go naked without being ashamed. Nakedness simply means being open. Really? Yeah. But you, you are abusing my nakedness. What? Kenna, you are abusing my nakedness and openness. What is it? I give you my phone for one minute. And what do you do? 
go on spying on me, displaying all manner of insecurity. What? Do you blame me? When you spend most times on the internet chatting, chatting with your friends. Well, my curiosity got the best of me. And you forgot that curiosity kills the cat. Oh, really? Really? I'm sorry I raised my voice, babe. But you need to learn to trust me. That's not a hard thing to do, just trust me. It's okay. I'll try. But I mean, <laughs> I just don't like when you spend all your time, spend most of your time on the internet. I truly don't like it. I mean, that, that, the most annoying thing is where it affects your role as a mother and a wife. That's all I don't like. Babe. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I promise to change. Henceforth, I'll do better. But can uh, You need to learn to trust your wife. Please. I will be my study. Thank you, Mr. Professor, my award-winning husband, uh, Mr. Lecturer. Babes. Thank you. Guess now, guess what? What? <clears throat> I locked my phone as we agreed. Mm -hmm. Case closed. He now trusts his wife. I told you. Mm. I told you. Thank you so much. Ah. Thank you for that idea. You're welcome. You're welcome. I know. I keep telling ladies that what they tolerate in relationship will keep recurring. I'm so glad you stood your ground. <laughs> like a queen. Hey. A thank queen. you so much. <laughs> give me girl. Give me five. God, <laughs> I am so excited. <laughs> this... I think we should get something to celebrate with. Sure now. Who is... <laughs> hmm. I don't know, I'm not comfortable with this chat with the ex, knowing fully well how much she loves him in the past. She was her first love. Do I let her be? Or do I try and stop her? But I trust my wife. I know she'll never cheat on me. But what if this guy awakens the love she used to have for him? I need to stop her. But the question is how? She's just so stubborn and will never listen to me. I need to get access to her phone and follow up with all the chats behind her back. about this particular girl in your class. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, it's quite funny. Really, like, <clears throat> I don't know why I, I was still thinking. I mean, what she thinks if I am like every other lecturer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am glad you put her in a place. Of course, what do you expect? I mean, there was nothing interesting or I should be looking at her. Looking at her when I have, um, I, I, I asked her, I said, Have you seen my wife? Ah. You know? And, it, and it, 
you know? I mean, there is no way you will have a Ferrari and you start going to Volkswagen shop to steal a Volkswagen. No, it's not done. <laughs> <laughs> What's your mouth? Can me? Hmm. You have bad mouth. <laughs> what do you mean by Volkswagen? It's a truth. That's the truth. I mean, if I have to do this comparison between you and herself, uh, I, mean, I mean, you will be the Ferrari while she is the Fox Watch. <laughs> <laughs> you have finished this girl. <laughs> ah, I pity her. You said, pity her small now, small. Ah, pity mm. You should be jealous now. Pity now. Jealous. <laughs> Kenny, of course you know I trust you. And I do not have insecurity. I am not insecure. Uh -huh. <sighs> My wife, you know, insecurity is relative. You need to protect and guard whatever you love and cherish so much. You should protect it. <sighs> okay, Professor. Mr. Lecturer. I hear you, sir. <laughs> <clears throat> It's alright. So, <clears throat> I was I, I was thinking, I do you have um, Mike's Etel number? I mean, his other number. I've been trying the one I have. It's not going through. Yeah, it should be somewhere. My phone. I do. Please, I mean, there's something very important I need to tell him about the building plan. I must give him that information. Okay. Yeah. Your phone, please. Talk to him. Oh, I'm scared. All right. I'll be indirectly hitting on my wife and she isn't even aware. I need to give her a heads up. Oh, Jenny can be stubborn. Very stubborn. She would say she trusts herself and I should not control her. But I am only trying to protect our family. I don't want our children to be raised by a single parent like I did. She's so confident in herself. No. I can't let her know I saw all the chats. If I do, she can just change her password or she will start deleting the text messages or the chats with him. I need to keep reading and at least know what the foolish guy's plans are. Babe, 
I never monitor your actions or stop you from doing whatsoever it is that pleases you. You are a lecturer with tons of female students trying to get your attention. Do I choke you with insecurities? No. That's because I trust you so much. And you know what I say? Trust is a vital part of any relationship or marriage. Nah, it's okay. Uh, you're right. There's no buts, please. Ekene, you have to just learn. Learn to trust me. You know I do? I actually do. I do trust you. <sighs> because I trust you, that is why I haven't gone overboard with this whole shit. Shit. Shit, you said? Yeah, of course, shit. Ekene, please. Please. I beg you in the name of God. I do not want to fight. Not today. Please. Neither do I want to pick a fight with you. All you need to do is to be the right thing. And what is the right thing to do? When did chatting with my friends become something wrong? You know what? I truly don't want to start at you over this whole thing. You know, I should have allowed you to to go ahead with your career and practice on the courts instead of doing that in my own house. Oh, really? Yeah. Now you know. Kenna, you have forgotten that I sacrificed everything for you. Because of you, my career, my life, everything. Because of you and your kids. No, I did not stop you. I did not stop you from your career. Rather, you said that you couldn't cope for being a mother and at the same time pursuing your career. So I did not stop you. Oh, now. They are now my kids and not ours. Oh, well, ours. Yes, ours. But can I ask you a question, yeah, Mr. Yeah. Lecturer? Whose son name do they bear? Yours. You know what? I truly don't want to, you know, argue this whole thing before. Barista, 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 before it's really easy. I am an active husband. Would you not? You just like to nag. Dada. Sorry, 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 sorry. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I, I am fine with that. I'm very good. Shh, shh, shh. I'm not deaf and dumb. I heard you are mom. Yeah, it was, it was just a misunderstanding between a husband and a wife. All right? So, now this is it. Did you change his diapers? No, no. You didn't. All right, so go get me one. Let me change him immediately. Start with and a wife, please. <laughs> 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 Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Is there something on fire?
am sorry. Please, forgive me. I know that you're upset with me, but I promise you it wasn't intentional. I'm so sorry, it won't happen again. Should I be concerned about Chini's obsession with chatting? Or should I just trust her and let it be? What if she makes a mistake and that mistake affects my beautiful family? I mean, our beautiful family, our kids. No. They're so precious to me, I cannot take the chance. I cannot let another man destroy my home. I know that man is up to something. password I am your husband so <sighs> say this chat See this chat. Uh, this chat, you're chatting with your ex. He's tempting you, and you're just being naive. Oh, really? So I'm being naive now, right? Everything you're talking, everything you do with him. <sighs> it's like a ticking time bomb. Waiting to explode. The best you could do for yourself is to end the communication with him. I know what I am saying as a man. And I have told you that I do not have anything with Uchi. We are just friends. And you do not have the right to choose my friends for me. No, I you don't. can't tell me you to be friends with or not. I truly don't. But trust me. If anything happens to this marriage, 
if anything happens to this marriage, I mean to our family, and there's a kid that will suffer it. Baby, trust me, nothing is going to happen to our marriage. You know why? Because I trust myself. And again, I don't know why you find it so difficult to trust me. You need to learn to trust me. I am not engaging in anything that is evil. Okay, now that you have gone through the chat, did you see anything that, that is suspicious? Did you see anything evil? Word is enough for the wise. Thank you. <sighs> and you're backing me to sleep, my wife. believe that he has not spoken to me nor taken my calls. I'm not surprised. Men like Kenny loves to be in control. Yes. They hate the gods of women who stand up for themselves. But what can we do? We have to stand up for ourselves. We have to say no to abuse and marriage slavery. You know what surprises me the most? This same Kenichiko that was so loyal and flexible when he was coming for my hand in marriage. Honestly, if I had seen this rigid part of him, I wouldn't have married him. Honestly, girl, to tell you the truth, not marrying Uche was the biggest mistake you ever made. N.K., why would you say such a thing? It's quite obvious. I mean, Kenny is, he's just too rigid, too serious minded and he can be quite boring. <sighs> you know you're right somehow. I can't deny it. <clears throat> but the thing is, I'm already married to him. He's my husband and I love him. Are you sure you do? Or is it because you're already married to him? <laughs> Okay, I have to be on my way now. I want to go to the mall to get one or two things for dinner. Mm. I'll talk to you some other time. Mm. Keep running from the truth, baby girl. Bye. It will haunt you forever. I'll call you. <laughs> Control me and misinterpret every message. Can I, I am a grown woman, an adult, not some baby that you brought into your house to control. I am not trying to control you. I just don't want you to do anything. Anything that will pose a risk to my family. That's it. What? 
Really? Are you in any way trying to say that I am a loose woman? Are you trying to say that I am so wayward that a chat with a guy can make me mess up? Is that what you're trying to tell me? That is not exactly what I am trying to say. You see, what I'm trying to say is that I just don't like you. You locking your phone. And every moment, there must be transparency. And that is what is expected of you, my love. Babes, you have to stand your ground. My husband is very serious this time around. And I do not want to have issues with him. Do you know what he said to me? If you value our marriage, you have to stop putting your phone on lock. That is just pure emotional blackmail. If he values your marriage, then he should stop giving you rules and ultimatums. But like I said earlier, I do not want to have issues with him. Stop it, I mean. But honestly, I am not even doing anything that is wrong. <laughs> there is nothing to hide. Yet, he will still see something that is not worth nagging on. A nag! I thought men don't nag. Uh, not with Kene. Kene nags a lot. He nags too much. But, but I need to get this right. So one day, Kene will wake up and tell you to stop talking to me. And you, you will have to sacrifice me for of him now. you know I can't do such No, thing. you will, because he has forgotten that you knew me before you met him. Same way you knew Uche before you met him and married him. And look at what is happening now. See, Enki, I'm here because I need your help. What do you suggest I do? What? Yes. You need to start deleting all your chats. Yes. Anytime you chat with Uchi or anyone, just delete them, all of them. My goodness. <laughs> How were you created, my friend? <laughs> Extra brain, please. Oh, gosh. That's exactly what I would do. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. You see why I love sharing my problems with you. Yes. Ah. A problem shared is half solved. So. Yeah. So, tell me, what would you like to drink? Hey. <laughs> because I need to buy you a drink. Madam, you have to buy me drinks, not even a drink. Which person money? Bills on you, please. Mom, you on phone. Olivia. Mom, an adage says, if anyone knows anything that will cause trouble, the person should not do it. Daddy does not like the way he chats every time, so stop it. Will you shut up? Shut up! <laughs> Olivia, hold your lips. I said, hold your lips. I am warning you for the last time. Stop getting yourself involved in adult matters. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. Let me take you to your room. Hold on. Mom! Mom? Olivia, you see, I've 
dropped the phone. Let's go. to give you a surprise surprise <laughs> no this is no surprise my dear i mean i am shocked gosh i didn't know you'll be coming back anytime soon when am i seeing you you know i came down all the way from uk just because i want to see hmm. you that would be a bit difficult because i do not know how my husband will feel about it listen if he won't understand our friendship, then he doesn't have to know we are meeting. You can come to my room. We don't have to hang out in restaurants where someone can see us. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. So, I'll just go drop off my kids at school and then come over to see you. Okay. <laughs> of course, you know I miss you too. And I can't wait to see you, honestly. I miss you so much. <laughs> All right, all right, dear. Yeah. See you soon. <laughs> Bye. Wow. Gosh. Who was that? A friend. Is it a boy or a girl? A male friend. But you said I should not be too close to boys to avoid making mistakes. Did I? Yes. When you were teaching me sex education, you said I should not sit on any uncle's lap and I should not play with boys in hidden places. My beautiful big baby. <clears throat> you didn't do this properly. But you haven't answered my question. <sighs> okay. I remember I told you so. But mom here is a big girl and she's mature. So she knows wrong from right and this particular man is like a brother to her okay i remember you told me i can play with my brother and my cousins mm -hmm. i know that my baby is super super intelligent and she remembers everything that mommy tells her so you can play with your brother and cousins Promise mommy that when you get to school, you always check on your brother Danny at the crutch. Will you? Yes, I will.
you were meant for me. Yes. We were so perfect together. You know that, right? So perfect. <laughs> I know, but that was in the past now. In the past? You're getting too close, okay? Sorry I left. It's okay. It's okay. You you abandoned me. You left me. You left me heartbroken. I'm sorry. Would you believe? 